what is up my original bagels and welcome welcome to uh well tits i don't really know what it'll be but whatever it'll be hopefully it'll be enjoyable hopefully it's black ops 3 but it probably won't be because i'm a loner and i have no boners okay that was um that was interesting to say the least but welcome guys uh today i just want to say black ops 3 is only two to three day two days exactly by the time i'm making this video two days till it comes out and you can expect the campaign to be out on that day uh probably not all of it but most of it to be out probably the first one then an hour later the second one and another hour later third one all of that it'll probably be after check in with me around six o'clock to around 8 that would be the time I'd be uploading them but today I want to talk about Optic Scuff House so they announced that they have a Optic Game and Scuff House that they've moved and once you go in the ma they have a master bedroom <coughs> that Big Timer got so Big Timer's place has a big closet and a bathroom and once they come back out of there they have a big fire where they're going to have a huge tv on the wall and crim6 thinks he's bare grills now for some odd reason but you know that's pretty normal because he's weird the kitchen it looks really nice and they have a lot of light coming in uh they have also a mud room which is basically what we'd call the back door um they have a four car garage and if you didn't actually watch it, I'll probably link it in the description below or something. Uh, Hex says something that made so much sense to me and dawned on me actually that I wasn't really surprised that he wasn't going to say it. Um, he said, don't show the outside. Basically, he said, don't show the outside because if people find out where they live, they're going to go there and to their house. And to be honest, I think people calling to their house is so ridiculously stupid they don't like it and if it was the other way around if it was all of them calling to your house you certainly would not like it i certainly wouldn't like it anyway moving on we have another room where the one and only hutch arrived hutch a ride or just known as hitch god why the fuck did i say that that was so stupid moving on anyway uh his room it's kind of small but it looks nice there's no uh there's no bathroom and there's no uh wardrobe i don't think I, yeah there's well there could be a kind of a little wardrobe or else they're getting one put in then upstairs the first room it is no other than embos it's a fairly good size for uh, just him and he has a bathroom of course and the bed also He's got a walk-in wardrobe, which once you walk into the wardrobe, the lights come on, which I thought was pretty cool, if you ask me. I'm actually kind of jealous that I don't have one. Why don't I have one? Next, we have Crim Six's room. Uh, it has some interesting things in his room. It's uh, very nature-like. Yeah. So seemingly, seemingly Crim6 now is a designer and his bathroom, you know, is fairly small and Crim6 is going to put a skylight window thingy in his bathroom for light. But yeah, he just said that he didn't like the lights. So what the fuck? Left, uh, left of the room of that bedroom once you come out they have optic flame sword so flame sword jesus so if you don't know who flame sworded he flame sword yeah. flame sword is he's he basically went there to be their fitness guy and their health kind of person and it just kind of turned into him being the coach or the captain of the optic gaming team which are currently looking for a ford he has a medium-sized walk-in wardrobe and another toilet, of course. Next, they have Maniac, who is a member of the Optic Halo team. Optic Gaming Halo team, actually. Another walk-in wardrobe, which is probably one of the smallest wardrobes I have ever seen. Like, 
I think you could fit at least 10 midgets into it if you like crammed all the midgets into it or or just crammed Asian people into it you'd have so much room still um well yeah that that's kind of racist then another surprise that I thought was actually quite a surprise having hitch there was well kind of is to be honest i don't know i think it is anyway they have fajam pajam whatever the fuck his name is because he's got a queer ass name and i'm confused how the fuck to say it fajam pajam pajama head there we go it's a fairly big room uh no toilet or wardrobe but he has near enough his setup all of these guys nearly have their setup set up then heading down to the basement hex uh, was saying that he wants to have, I think it's an Optic Gaming logo, a big massive one, and have fans sign it at, at LAN events and everything. And then once they're headed into the basement, it's going to have a small gym, a theater for watching back their videos and that, of their screams and everything, a little kitchen, mini fridges, pool table, ping pong table and a little sports center that's what they kind of want to have a toilet and a wine cellar and a nice place that they haven't called anything yet but they just said it was the confessional or it might be the astros confessional uh that's kind of been set up by hitch and i kind of just want to say that well done to optic game and i know that probably nobody from optic are even going to watch this video because I'm literally a sad, loner person. I'm talking to a microphone and I feel so lonely and I have no friends. But somehow I have a girlfriend. How the fuck does that work? Moving on. Um, but to be honest, I think they really needed it because it was really cramped at the old Optic House. You could see that they've got two new members now in it and it looks a lot better. And yeah. They really deserved it, and they've put a lot of money, well, scuff money, <laughs> money whores, into it. And I, to be honest, I think it's over 700,000 probably for the house, or even like fucking 1 million or something. And then they are going to be getting stuff into it as well, like the flat screen TVs and everything. That's going to be like over a million dollars, like... Holy nipple tits on my anus. Like, that's going to be so much moolah that if I had $1 million, you know what I'd do? I'd actually go to the strip club and buy male prostitutes. But that is it, guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.